welcome to my channel this is karen and if you're new welcome and if you're returning thank you for coming back so today is the first and today is when i wanted well it's a new month so i wanted to show you what i colored for the month of january and let's see this is be my second month that i'm doing this so i did color more than last month which is a good thing and but it's not anything like i've seen but i have 10 books and without that i hope you're all doing well and we could just get started so this first book um, that I completed, not completed, I completed one page, is called um, Mermaids in Paradise. Um, and it's by um, Denise Clet, Cleet. I'm sorry, probably I'm not pronouncing that right. This is the page, though, that um, I completed. So I hope you can see that. I'm just so yeah I just use a I'm not gonna say everything that I use each page but I use a bunch of markers basically um let's see markers um gel pen uniball gel pen pencils etc that's basically what I've used for all the pages so I won't like keep saying it <laughs> over and over but um yeah it's really cute I really had fun I had fun well coloring in all the pages as you can see you know you do have to put something in between the pages so that's mermaids in paradise there's a no particular order now these this one um i had hold i know there's a few there's quite a few in this series of a million blah 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 i have a few but i don't have the whole collection but a million unicorns by um Lulu Mayo and I know I'm on the I'm on the late show for this because I know these were very popular back in the day but I had stopped coloring and all that and I wasn't even the coloring I was doing I was not like my YouTube wasn't really um I wasn't showing my coloring on YouTube or anything so I just did let's see one page was oh is from is this from the very pretty from the very beginning pretty and I thought this is just so cute. Thought about Valentine's Day. Well, I made it a boy. And, well, yeah, the boy and a girl. <laughs> Two unicorns. Butterflies. I love coloring butterflies. What did I use? Stickles and all kinds of things. So this was a really fun page. I'm you now I'm going to ha have fun coloring this book. I just like all of the images. I mean, they're just so cute. So that one is from A Million Unicorns. Uh, the next one is from 50 Splendid Princesses. 50 F S uh, Splendid Princesses by Camille Camelia Anja Lakova. I'm probably not pronouncing her name correctly. Now, I did one in this book. I wasn't happy with it. <laughs> I really wasn't, but, you know, practice makes perfect, and coloring is all about having fun, you know? So, this is the one that I did, and I actually, this is attempt at watercolor, which was a disaster, you know? As you can see, like, the, it was just too much, too heavy, and anyway... This is the page, though, that I did attempt, though. Um, like I said, I wasn't happy with it, but practice makes perfect. So on the other page, I have a lot of other pages that I can do. And it is a very pretty, uh, it is a very pretty book. So I will just start again and try and, um, what is the word? Try and, um perfect my technique which I don't know what that is that's a lot of different things because I use whatever <laughs> so the next one is from angels and this is from um color Christopia. and this is really my first um dealings with color by numbers I never was really interested in color by numbers until I started getting these book 
these books. I have a few now with the black background. I completed one last month and the one I completed for, now see, I thought I had a, oh, there I do. The one I completed for this month, I really, really like this, the angels. I did pretty much follow, you see it has, um, follow the, the colors. Now I may have swayed a little bit, but not a lot from, you know, the colors. I know it's coming out really, really light. Some colors were really, really, really light. But yeah, I really enjoy coloring this. I love angels, unicorns, all that fantasy things, you know, that we all love. Um, well, not all, but I mean that I know I, I like that to color the, those clouds and things like that. So yeah, this is from Qu Color Questopia. And I just liked it because, you know, with the unicorns, you could just make it you all, you know, you have to stick to it, which I did pretty much stick to the chart colors, but you can make it any color you want. And this is Angel's Adult Coloring Book by Color Questopia. Oops. And now the next book I have here is from um, Ava Brown. She's another, um, I have a few of her books. I really enjoy her books. This is from Beautiful Women, Grayscale. And, oh yeah, no, I had showed the one I had done, but I showed that in December. So this is the one I did for this month. This was the, um, now this one, she actually is also done in, Let's see, mostly, I'm sorry to keep switching around, just want to make sure it's in focus. Mostly it's, she's done in alcohol markers, um, the background, some watercolors, pencils, a, a bunch of things, stickles. <laughs> I have to have stickles like on everything, but um, I, and I really like the way she came out. Um, it was really fun and yeah, I really like the way she came out. I really like this book. Um, that was from last month, but I really am enjoying this book and, um, yeah, I look forward to coloring some more and we're having a massive snowstorm right here. So between the pandemic and the snowstorm, it's the perfect time to be coloring. Now, this one I actually just did uh, not too long ago. The Whimsy Girls Celebrate the Holidays and Festive Occasions. I had bought this book. I like Hannah Lynn. And so I had just done this one right here, um, you know, for February. Of course, February is a long month. Valentine's Day hasn't come yet. But, um, yeah, she's so cute. And, you know, this is the one that has the simplified version or the, um, rather the intricate and the more simplified. I, so yeah, which is nice because even then, you know, you get two pages of two different ones. So, yeah, I enjoyed, um, I really enjoyed coloring her. The next one is, now this is a rather Marie, old, I'm sorry, um, Maria Troll book. I do not have all of them. I wish I did, but um, Nightfall. All of her books are so pretty and I have not finished, nowhere near finished any of them. But in my early days, I was into gel pens. So I have some done. Um, I was really into gel pens. Like that's all I used was gel pens, but anyway. The one I completed for this month was um, this little girl. I actually did two. I won't really count this one because this was like half done from another time. But it was, it's this girl right here. And I think she's just so cute. I, need, I know I keep saying cute. I have to find another word. But um, she's holding the little, ro the um, well, I think it's a robin's nest. I don't know. Um, and I'm trying to, to practice and work on backgrounds, 
but um yeah she's just so cute and i just love flowers and birds and butterflies and all of that so um yeah this is the one i completed for this month and this one oh let me not show you this one i'm well i'm in in the midst of doing a few, which I'm sure we all are. Okay, so the next one is from this book from Demi her, the author's name is uh, Demita Victoria. She has a lot of coloring books on Amazon. Most of these you can find on Amazon. And this is Fantastic Beauties. And I've done just uh, one out of this book. And it was this one. And I like how she turned out. You know, to me, I don't know. You're just never satisfied with, like, you can say, yes, it's perfect. It's the way I want it. But um, she's pretty. I mean, she's a good illustrator. Of course, this is the cover of the book. That's what I happen. That's who I happen to do. And, um, yeah, I think she came out, you know, okay. I used, I know for the hair, I used... Um, alcohol markers yeah alcohol markers and try to do some backgrounds yada yada <laughs> i'm not gonna repeat the same thing all the time but yeah i also love this book another book i want to do more coloring in and now i don't do a lot of mandalas i think i explained before um i don't do a lot of intricate due to some eye issues so um but this one i found and actually, it's not very, very intricate. I'm sorry, intricate. It's called Winter Mandela's. It's by Coloring Book Cafe. And I do like Mandela's, though. I like them. I think they're pretty. You know, you can use so many different colors. And so this is the one I completed for this month. Very simple design. And that's what I like about mandalas they come out pretty you could do a background you can do it simple you could do it intricate do whatever colors that you want and so yeah that's the one i did and i like this um like i said the intricate intricate ones i would be there for like 20 years doing them so um this is perfect for me and then the last one that I've completed for this month is Joanna Baff Bassford's World of Flowers. And this one. Now, another one I'm not crazy about at all. I like the butterflies. <laughs> I like the butterflies. Um, I do like the leaves and such, but um, then I, I try to do something with the background. I just not really feeling this page, but you know what? Like it's all about having fun and relaxing and that's what coloring does. So it's okay. It's all right. That's what, you know, it's all about. So this is my very last one um, that I completed for last month and we're on to a new month already. Happy February. Oh, I didn't want to make this too long, but um, if you have stayed to the end, thank you. And if you like what you see, just hit the subscribe button. And I will hope you all have a great day or evening, and I'll see you in my next upload. Bye, everyone.